Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Well, today I'm going to give you a quick demo how you can install OpenVPN or secure VPN tunneling or IPsec protocol to any of your PCs or servers. So today I'm going to tell you how you can do that using DigitalOcean droplets and we're gonna use CentOS 6.8 version for this one. Basically the process works for all of these CentOS versions. So specifically there are a few changes if it's CentOS 7 Though I will be uh, making a video for CentOS 7 as well. So today we're going to use CentOS 6.8 or 6.9, whatever droplets provides. So just go to the uh, DigitalOcean, just go to droplets and create a droplet here. So you can choose any service that you want to. So because I'm in Australia, so Sydney is the nearest one, okay, 6.1. So Singapore is the nearest one for me, so it just makes the whole process a bit faster. So just uh, click the SSHS key that you already have installed in your DigitalOcean, VPN Singapore. So um, if you don't know how to use SSHS keys, I think you got to watch other videos first. So if you know how to use SSHS keys, it's much easier to actually understand the video. So just create a VPN server that you want to create and make sure it just opens. As you can see here, we are using center 6.9, 64-bit, and it's in Singapore server. Uh, we choose two gigs of RAM and 40 gigs of uh, SSD. Because it's a demo one, so you can uh, choose any of the uh, server that you want as for your need. So it's just a demo purpose. That's why I just using. I'm just using with two gigs of RAM. I've tried with two five two MB as well. So basically, they just works with any any uh, configs. Though if you need to use lots of traffic, then that time you might be facing some kind of issues. Else, uh, I don't think there should be any problems. So you can use any of your any of so any SSS client software. So you can use Terminal, Putty for Windows, Secure CRT, or any any whatever you're using. So today I'm going to use Jokka. This is one of my favorite uh, free uh, client software for SSS. So what you gotta do is make sure you just you just can ping your server that you just created. Now, hmm, just log in there. Add to the known host. Okay, now make sure you upgrade the latest EPL release. Once you have everything there, install OpenVPN. What else? IP tables. Uh, I use Veeam as well, Duplicate, Open SSL, Easy RSA. I think this should do. Now, once it's created and installed, so you just need to make some folders in open.ppn. So if you go to etc, open VPN, there will be nothing there. So just make sure you make a directory called Easy Iris and Keys and copy all the contents uh, from user share Easy RSA 2.0 and all of its contents in the uh, folder that you just created. Now if you go to that folder here, you can see all the full files here. And also uh, just Copy that OpenSSL 1.0.2.openssl.cnf. Okay, you can see the changes. Now you have the OpenSSL.conf as well. Mm, what else do you need? Okay, now let's let's start creating the keys that we need. So make sure you just make changes to your files as per your need. Today, I'm going to use server as a demo purpose. Okay, now source. Ah, uh, sorry. Verse 
clean everything you have created before now what else you build ca okay just all the defaults one if you need to make some changes you can now again build key for server server name is server itself okay server password nop nop yep yes okay now i think we should create build key for client client okay yep 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 yes certify commit changes now we gonna create th2048 so it's just gonna take some time to actually copy all of those okay it's all done now it's saved in keys folder now we just need to copy all of these keys to open VPN folder so we gonna copy DH, okay, all of these service to open VPN. If you go there, you should be able to see the four uh, keys that we just copied. Okay, so now what we need here is a server.conf file. So we just use the sample config files from server.conf. Okay. You just need to go to user share doc open VPN that's two dot uh, any version sample sample config so that conf and just copy to the tc folder tc folder so as you can see you should be able to see the folder here now you just need to make some changes as per our need so the things that we need to make changes are we just need to re uh, enable redirect gateway which is by default are disabled. So just go to that full file, just browse, browse, go down. Okay, here you go. It's commented, just make sure it's you uncommented. And okay, one more thing, you just need to enable the DNS as well. You can use any public DNS, but I prefer using Google DNS. Okay, 8.8.8.8.8.4.4 and make sure you uncomment the user nobody and group nobody as well. Okay, just copy everything, just save everything. Now you just need to make changes for another file as well for uh, changing or let's say IP forwarding, it's IPv4, IP forward, enable it using one. So we just, okay. It's all done. Now let's go to IP tables. Uh, for IP tables, uh, you just need to enable the IP address that we just used. So service IP tables save. IP tables restart. Okay. Now Okay, service open VPN restart failed. Uh, what might be the reason? Hmm. Sorry, uh, messages no that key oh sorry uh, we just need the key as well oh. mm. okay just create 
the key is in the key.this command. Okay. Mm, okay, it's all up and running. So, mm, the thing that you need now is something for your client side. So, to um, okay, just make sure that you have client keys in keys dot folder. Okay, uh, client dot CRT and client CRT that's there. And just code. To, you just need to copy the server that conf. Sorry, uh, it's client.conf. You're gonna use the same sample files from here. Okay. Uh, sorry, client conf. As you can see, these are the basic uh, settings. Okay. So these are the files that we will be needing, ca.crt, client.crt, and client.key. Okay, I got a better idea. Um, rather than using that one, I'm gonna, I've am going got a script. Uh, so let's say I'm gonna, I will remove the uh, client.conf and create client.ovpn. And this, there should be nothing. Okay. Uh, copy. Uh, what it will do is, it will just copy all of the that uh, file, all of the uh, keys like ca.crt, uh, client.crt, client.key, ta.crt. Uh, so it just copies everything in one big folder, uh, one big file. So it's just a custom. I just made it big. So this it just makes us easier. Bash copy. Uh, okay. As you can see, everything is saved here. It's just the uh, C files that are just saved in one single file. So just make sure you copy the public IP address and. Um, Okay, just save it. Okay, so for the final time, I've just checked if open. Is it running or not? Okay, it's all running. So we just copied the uh, client.ovpn. Okay. Uh, if you remember, this is the same file that we just copied. Let's copy it again. Okay, just copy it. Now let's go to Windows 10. And, okay, Notepad, run as administrator. So I'll just paste everything here and save as. Uh, in this directory program files, open bin config, all files, save as client error. Yep. Now, as you can see, it's showing uh, Sydney. If you even do the refresh, it will show. So, okay, it's Sydney. Now, here you should be able to see a connection request to the destination IP. Now let's check if we can ping Google or not. Okay, we can ping, so internet is working. Now just do it. It should show Singapore, just to make sure uh, what I'm going to do is, okay. If you remember, 120.19.199.160.233 is our IP address. So that's what it should be showing here. Okay. Okay. So this is the IP address now. As you can see, it's Singapore. Uh, what's my IP? Singapore 
see it's showing the new one that we just choose so basically what it does is now you are browsing internet connection as you are browsing through DigitalOcean and whatever you are browsing it will show the origin or let's say source IP address as Singapore that means you are perfectly safe uh, safe but uh, it's not something to do for crime basically it's for security purpose so make sure you just don't misuse this one so that's all for now guys uh, if you got any questions you can just ask me I'll be definitely helping you guys.